Housing. It's a big problem. In this country, apparently, it's now more difficult to get a house than it is to get almost anything else. In fact, it's worse than that. Uh, in Britain itself, um, the country is one of the most difficult places to get any kind of housing. The reason being, of course, as I've been telling you for months and months and months and months and months and months and months, there's too many people here and there's not enough houses. And guess what? It's going to get worse because the Home Office have got a problem. Uh, and it's not just the usual problem of not being very good at what they do. This particular problem is that because they're now trying to try and fast track people's asylum claims, the people who come here um, illegally, generally speaking, and then seek asylum as soon as they get here, uh, we know that there's 170,000 or so of those people waiting uh, for their uh, applications to be processed. The Home Office is going to speed up those applications, and apparently what that means is that they're going to start granting asylum to more people. Now, you might say, well, hang on a minute. If we haven't got any houses, how can you grant asylum? Where are they going to stay? Because at the moment, they might be staying in hotels, uh, they might be staying in a temporary accommodation. The bottom line is, according to the Red Cross, there's going to be about 50,000 potential refugees, because they will have been granted asylum by the Home Office, looking for houses, i.e. being homeless. And it's going to be down to local authorities and local councils to find them accommodation. Now, if you're sitting there listening to this, you're probably thinking, what on earth is going on in this country? It's hard enough to find a house at the moment, but if you're going to put another 50,000 people on the market to try and live in a house which there isn't, then there is clearly going to be a massive backlog. There's going to be homeless people running and room roaming around on the streets. 50,000 of them. The Red Cross say something needs to be done, but it's all very well for them. But who is going to house these people? Where are they going to house them? And who's going to pay for it? Well, you know the answer to the last bit. We'll be paying for it. Of course we will, because apparently these people, up until now, have not been allowed to work. So obviously what needs to happen is that we need some joined up thinking. Rishi Sunak, of course, yesterday, in his speech, didn't really mention any of this. He's off in Spain today trying to figure out how to stop people coming into the country. Well, maybe you should pay a bit more attention to the ones who are already here and find out how to solve this massive problem. We can give them some help, of course, and I'd love to hear your ideas. 0344. 499-1000. This is Talk TV.